Dear respected students, today we are starting a new uh, series of hematological lectures and we will focus on discussing the most prevalent disorder as anemia. Anemia is decrease in the total amount of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood. A normal hemoglobin level for female is 120 to 140 gram per liter, for male is 130 to 160 gram per liter. Anemia is a high prevalent disorder and here you see uh, uh, anemia cover uh, whole our world countries and uh, also you see uh, countries with severe uh, anemias. Uh, uh, there are countries, uh, several countries of South America, also African countries, also our uh, countries also belongs to um, uh, countries with moderate and severe anemias. And uh, <clears throat> before uh, discussing uh, clinical particularities and uh, uh, diagnostic criteria of anemia, I'd like to remind you how to meet our blood cells. All our blood cells are made from one unique stem cell, uh, which is located in bone marrow, and under action of colonial stimulating factor, from these uh, stem cells are made different kinds of uh, uh, blood cells like leukocytes, like uh, uh, platelets, and also um, RBCs. And uh, because we are uh, discussing today about anemia, uh, uh, we will focus on red blood cells, how are made red blood cells. Uh, in bone marrow, we have six classes of maturation of cells. And uh, in bone marrow, everything formated from stem cell, from stem cell formated erythroblast. Erythroblast is the most uh, recognizable uh, cell of uh, erythrocytes and uh, the youngest uh, cell. And uh, this cell uh, belongs to the fourth class of bone marrow maturation. After division of erythroblast, formated chronormocytes and then after then formated basophilic normocytes and then polychromatophilic normocytes and oxyphilic normocytes and then only reticulocytes and erythrocytes and as you see here uh, the, um, um, these cells uh, erythroblast uh, 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 from erythroblast uh, to erythrocytes uh, during maturation uh, lose their weight uh, they, uh, their nucleus become to be shrink and even um, in reticulocytes uh, disappear. In reticulocytes we have only uh, remaining particles of uh, uh, nucleus and erythrocytes, uh, erythrocytes uh, don't have nuclear. And also you see um, uh, um, are also decreasing in size uh, uh, during maturation of these cells. Uh, what does it mean having nuclear? Uh, having nuclear means uh, these cells can divide. And uh, mm, uh, you see uh, our erythrocytes uh, uh, types can divide uh, till oxyphilic normocytes. And reticulocytes couldn't uh, divide, only maturate into the erythrocyte within 24 hours. Also from these slides you see in peripheral blood we have presenting only maturated erythrocytes or RBCs and a small amount of reticulocytes from uh, 0.5 to 2%. How regulates um, our production of erith erith uh, erythrocytes? Of course regulates by colonial stimulating factors of bone marrow and also by a hormone which produced in kidney erythropoietin. Erythropoietin uh, can increase in the number of mitosis, also accelerate maturation, and also can accelerate the exit, of, um, exit to the blood um, of our erythrocytes. Our RBC has biconcave structure and, <coughs> and uh, um, uh, size of our RBC is from 7 to 8 micrometer. This is spike of biconcave sh uh, shape uh, give, uh, give our erythrocyte um, ability to deform and uh, uh, goes uh, through the uh, small capillaries. Even 7 to 8 micrometer uh, erythrocyte can pass through the 3 to 4 micrometer of uh, small vessels. 
and each erythrocytes in 99% consist of hemoglobin. Here is hemoglobin structure, which consists of globin and heme. And also, you know, heme uh, has uh, porphyrinic ring, and on the center uh, has uh, 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 classification of anemia due to pathogenesis. Uh, we have uh, uh, we can divide uh, anemia into three uh, types. First type is anemia due to impaired erythropoiesis. Another name is dyserythropoietic anemia. And the second place is post hemorrhagic anemia because of acute or chronic mm, bleeding, mostly acute bleeding, and anemia due to increasing destruction of red blood cells or hemolytic anemia. Uh, first anemia due to impaired erythropoiesis. This in anemia developed because of uh, decreasing uh, synthesis of er uh, erythrocytes in bone marrow. Uh, why can decrease the synthesis? First reason it may be decreased amount of stem cells in aplastic anemia. Second reason may be deficiency of sources for erythropoiesis like deficiency of iron, deficiency of vitamin B12 or folic acids. And uh, on the second place is post hemorrhagic anemia. After um, releasing, um, um, after fermenting in bone marrow, our uh, erythrocytes go into the systemic circulation and it's their main function as a gas ex exchange. And uh, we uh, live in peripheral uh, uh, blood and circulate uh, within uh, 100 to 120 days, about three months and after then destroyed in the reticular and arterial system. And uh, if we have um, any um, uh, bleeding, uh, rupturing of vessels, or any severe traumas of vessels, uh, which result in acute and chronic uh, bleeding, uh, we call uh, this post-hemorrhagic anemia. And uh, on the third place is hemolytic anemia. Uh, when we have uh, over-destruction of uh, uh, erythrocytes, RPCs over destruction uh, may uh, occur due to uh, hereditary uh, disorders or uh, acquired disorders. Hereditary disorders like uh, microspherocytosis, hereditary microspherocytosis, when our erythrocytes shape is not as biconcave, their shape become to be spheric shape, and this is spheric shape as a ball shape, they couldn't pass through the small uh, capillaries and quickly destroy and formate the, uh, uh, formate the high bilirubin production, uh, uh, hemolytic jaundice. And also, this kind of situation may in, um, may present in thalassemia or any kind of hemolytic anemia, uh, hereditary or uh, hemolytic anemia. Uh, hemolytic anemia <coughs> may develop due to malaria, for example, malaria plasmodium uh, can uh, grow uh, grow up into the uh, erythrocytes and cause destruction of RPCs and also may develop due to any kinds of poisoning by hemolytic poisons. By severity, uh, we divide anemia into three stages, mild, moderate, and severe. Mild, when hemoglobin level below normal, but above 90 gram per liter. Moderate is hemoglobin level in the range of 90 to 70 gram per liter. And severe, when we have less hemoglobin level, less than 70 gram per liter. Also, um, according to the ability of bone marrow to regenerate, uh, we are recognizing a regenerative, hyporegenerative, and hyperregenerative, and sometimes normal regenerative anemia. The main sign of such regeneration is an increase in the number of reticulocytes. Young red blood cells, you know reticulocytes, this is young cells before erythrocytes. The normal range of reticulocytes is 0.5 to 2 percentage. Uh, in a regenerative, um, for example, in a plastic anemia, uh, a regenerative anemia characterized by the absence of reticulocytes. Hyporegenerative uh, uh, characterized by uh, decreasing uh, reticulocytes and become to be less 0.5 percentage. And hyperregenerative most uh, character for hemolytic anemias when increased number of particular sites more than two percent. Uh, according to um, 
size of erythrocytes, how we divide, how we name it into three types like microcytic, normocytic, macrocytic. Uh, this division depends on mean corpuscular volume. Normal mean corp corpuscular volume, this is from 80 to 100. And uh, if uh, it uh, less than 80, it uh, become to be microcytic. It mostly occur uh, in uh, iron deficiency anemia. When this uh, mean corpuscular volume more than 100, this is macrocytic anemia. This mostly character for folic acid and B12 deficiency anemia. According to containing uh, hemoglobin in erythrocytes, uh, we divide it into three uh, another types, hyperchromic, normochromic, and hypochromic. Normally containing um, one uh, uh, erythrocytes contain 27 to 31 picogram per one cell uh, hemoglobin. If this less than 31 is uh, recognized, as hypo, hyperchromic or hypochromic, uh, mm, uh, or oh, sorry, isn't more than 31, this hyperchromic, if less than 27, this hypochromic. Hypochromic occur uh, in um, iron deficiency anemia, hyperchromic in um, B12 deficiency anemia. And uh, also uh, in blood test uh, and smear of blood, we can uh, see a different uh, size and different um, uh, shapes of uh, uh, RBCs. And here, if you see in blood smear abnormal variation in shapes, uh, it calls as poly poikilocytosis. Uh, here is the cancer uh, uh, target cells, or may develop uh, um, ovala sites formated of sickle cell, for example, sickle cell character for sickle cell anemia. And anisocytosis, abnormal variation in size. There are different sizes. For example, microcyte with small um, RBCs, normal size is normal uh, sizes from 7 to 8 micrometer, and macrocytes from 8 to 12, and megalocytes more than 12 micrometers. Let's discuss the most um, uh, a highly uh, spread uh, anemia, iron deficiency anemia. Prevalence of iron deficiency is very high in developing countries than in developed countries, and in our country the same uh, uh, same data. Uh, for example, in our country, among the children, they have uh, from 35 to 30 percent, uh, percent uh, uh, of spreading, and uh, in uh, women. Uh, even a half of uh, our women, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, mostly pregnant women, uh, they have anemia condition, even uh, um, iron deficiency anemia. And uh, among men, it's uh, one three part of men suffering from anemia, and uh, uh, the more age of um, our patients, uh, the more um, presence of anemia also. Uh, also, we should know recommended dietary intake. Uh, we take uh, iron from food, and uh, males' demand uh, is uh, less uh, than a female's demand. Males' demand, for example, from 8 to 10 milligrams per day, uh, whereas uh, for female is uh, 18, and the so same age is 18 milligrams. And uh, this uh, 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 because of monthly losing of blood, of course, you know, and uh, mm, uh, during pregnancy, this demand increased. It become to be 27, even 33 milligrams. Uh, <coughs> a dietary iron, we have two types of dietary iron in the diet, heme iron and non-heme iron. Heme iron is uh, present in hemoglobin containing animal food like meat, liver, and spleen, and also non-heme iron is obtained from kerils, vegetables, and beans. And you see here heme iron uh, and non-heme iron. Non-heme iron predominantly uh, mm, they are contained in fruit and vegetables, and absorption of this uh, kind of iron is less than 1% whereas the uh, mm, uh, heme iron uh, which is contained uh, in the meat and poultry and uh, in fish 
uh, absorption is uh, much more, much better, and uh, uh, reach 17 to 22 percentage. With the benzene, 10 to 20 milligram of iron per day is received, but only 10 mm, to 12 percent is absorbed. It means if you take 10 to 20 milligrams of iron, it will be absorbed on the 1 to 3 milligrams. Absorption of iron from human milk due to special mechanisms reached uh, 38 to 49 percent. Of course, this is compensatory reaction. Iron transplantation, transferring as a transport protein, uh, uh, transport protein, the only one that carries iron. All cells have transferring receptors, and iron uptake by cells is determined by the number of transferring receptors. Transferrin is synthesized by the liver, and the liver very important, has very important function. And you see transferring this transport protein, which can carry uh, our iron from the absorbed iron, and this absorbed iron carry into the bone marrow. Also, um, after destruction of erythrocytes, um, uh, this, uh, uh, this iron Take uh, take uh, uh, takes uh, transferring uh, transferring takes this iron and also carry to the bone marrow to muscle to liver to anywhere and transferring binds plasma iron and delivers to the cells of the body according to their need only twenty percent of transferring bound iron uh, comes from the digestive tract uh, most of the iron in the plasma comes from destroyed red blood cells. Iron reserves or storages are mainly found in the cells of the reticular endothelial system uh, of the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Iron in the depot, uh, uh, depot is bound to uh, two uh, protein, uh, proteins, ferritine, a uh, soluble protein, and hemosiderine. There are two storages of iron, ferritine and hemosiderine. Hemosiderine form an absolute uh, complex with iron. Portion of ferritine is contained in, uh, contained in serum and reflects the total iron reserves. Uh, if, if you want to check patient iron storage, let's check ferritin level. And uh, if uh, you, your patient's ferritin level will, um, uh, will be low, it means uh, he has low, uh, less storages in tissues. The main factors that regulate iron metabolism, they are ferritini, transferini, and transferin receptors, and also hepcidine. And uh, what does it mean, hepcidine? Hepcidine is hormone produced by liver cells, and uh, this is universal negative iron regulator. Uh, it uh, blocks the transport of iron from all cells, from enterocytes, macrophages, etc. Hepcidine production is regulated by iron concentration through the metrocytopenes tumor antigens. An increase in the amount of iron in the body stimulates hepcidine synthesis. Wireless iron is absorbed by enterocytes and endosplasma from the prophetus. Pro inflammatory cytopenes and also tumor antigens can stimulate hepcidine synthesis and leads to hypophyremia. That's why, uh, if uh, uh, that's why during uh, many chronic disorders may develop anemia because chronic disorders can increase the production of cytokines, pro-inflammatory cytokines, or for example, chronic uh, or disorders like tumor also can produce the um, uh, tumor antigens can also increase, stimulate the hepcidin synthesis and hepcidin decrease absorption of iron in GIT and cause the anemia. A tool of iron deficiency anemia. Of course, in the first place, this is chronic blood losing. as yes, maybe uterine, uh, hemorrhages, any kinds of hemorrhages, nasal bleeding, hemorrhagic di di diathesis, uh, uh, blood losing. Uh, on the second place, this is increased iron, iron requirements uh, during pregnancy, during vacation, or puberty, or during, 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 during intensive uh, sport. Uh, on the third place is an adequate intake of iron with food. It may be elementary in vegetarians or drinking strong tea. For example, uh, tea contains a tannin, a ta ta a tannin uh, which bind out, um, uh, bind out um, uh, intake um, iron 
uh, and uh, destroy uh, the absorption. Violation of iron absorption may be due to chronic enteropathy with any uh, kinds of malabsorption syndrome or small bowel resection or resection of the stomach according to the method of Biller 2. Uh, violation of iron transport, congenital hypo and air transferinism uh, or a decrease or absence of transferrin uh, protein or hypoproteinemia of various origin or maybe sometimes uh, fermented antibodies to the transferrin and its receptors. And there are three stages, developmental stages of iron deficiency anemia according to World Health Organization, <coughs> we have pre-latent, latent and iron deficiency anemia. Pre-latent stage is uh, reduction in iron stores uh, without reducing serum iron level. Hemoglobin, MCD, transferrin saturation is normal, uh, 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 normal iron absorption increase serum ferritin and marrow are iron reduced but uh, no clinical manifestation. You see here, uh, not exactly quickly develop anemia. First, first, it starts from decreasing and exertion of uh, iron storages in tissues. Only after exertion of iron storages develop iron deficiency anemia. On the second stage, is a latent stage, iron stores are exhausted, but the blood hemoglobin level remains normal. Index of the blood within the standard clinical picture is caused by the sidropenic syndrome. Sidropenic syndrome we will discuss later when uh, storages of uh, iron storages of tissue exhaust and give us sidropenic syndrome. Next is iron deficiency anemia. Blood hemoglobin concentration falls below the lower limit of normal, the clinical manifestation appear in the form of cytopenic syndrome and general anemic syndrome or circulating uh, hypoxic circulating syndrome. Circulatory hypoxic syndrome uh, associated with, with insufficient oxygen supply uh, of tissue, failure of skin and mucous membrane, decreased appetite, increased physical and mental fatigue, irritability, decreased performance, and also cardiovascular disorders may develop because of hypoxia of uh, heart, mm, hypoxia of heart muscle, uh, dizziness, tinnitus, shortness of breath, fainting, tachycardia, muffled tones, uh, functional systolic murmur may, uh, may present on the apex of heart, uh, and also expansion of heart borders if develop uh, congestive heart failure. Cedropenic syndrome are uh, represented by degenerative changes of skin, its uh, uh, appendages like dry skin, dryness, brightness, hair loss, brightness, softness, thin, uh, thinning, and longitudinal or transverse striation uh, of nails, often platonicia and colonicia, and you see here on the picture colonicia. Uh, damage of the oral mucus and gastrointestinal tracts, uh, angular stomatitis, glossitis may appear bright red, shiny, um, a swollen, painful tongue, uh, atrophy of papillaries, uh, chaosis, scissors in the corner of the mouth, uh, mouth gingivitis, uh, gingivitis develop plantar vision dysphagia, atrophy of the mucous membrane of the nose, stomach, as a progress, with the violation, violation of absorption and dyspeptic disorders, uh, may also uh, present tendency to constipation. Also, cytopenic syndrome appear by uh, perversity of taste and smell. Our patients' uh, taste change, and they uh, they want to uh, uh, they want to uh, eat something different, like earth, like chalk, for example. And uh, smelling is also smelling taste also change. They want uh, they likes to smell, uh, for example, industry uh, dye or acetone, and etc. Uh, also, muscle pain occurs due to myoglobin deficiency because myoglobin consists of iron. Uh, muscle hypertension, dysuria, urinary incontinence when coughing, laughing, and nocturnal anuresis, even nocturnal anuresis may occur. 
sign of autonomic vascular dysfunction by unstable blood pressure with a tendency to hypotension, sweating, and hypercarcinosis. Immunity and infection also change because of defective lymphocytes-mediated immunity and impaired bacterial killing kill by phagocytes. Mm. Pica syndrome. Uh, Pica syndrome is craving to eat earth. Uh, like uh, pegophagia is uh, defined as a uh, purposeful eating of the least, at least one tray of ice daily for two months. So it's a strange symptom, but it takes place here. Also, food picker, uh, compulsively eating one food or something that is brittle uh, and uh, makes a uh, uh, crunching sound when chewed. And genitalian disorders like disturbance in menstruation. Skeletal system, deplo uh, um, um, deployed uh, spaces uh, may be widened and uh, other ultra <coughs> table scent. Object to beta deep as uh, pillow of skin, <coughs> um, pillow of skin and uh, mucous membranes, uh, uh, mucous membrane. Symptoms of blue sclera, tachycardia, systolic murmurs at the apex of the left edge of the sternum, uh, immotivate low grade fever, uh, uh, iron deficiency stages uh, can represent it in uh, different parameters and you see, uh, for example, hemoglobin uh, with the normal within uh, uh, latent uh, stages uh, till, uh, till developing iron deficiency anemia. Serum iron uh, uh, in normal uh, pre-latent stages and uh, by decreasing uh, by decreasing uh, and decrease uh, by developing iron deficiency anemia. Total iron binding capacity of our blood will be normal and increase. And transferrin saturation also decrease. And you see also serum ferritin level. This uh, our uh, iron storage, uh, you see it anywhere is decreased. If you want to detect uh, pre latent stage of uh, your patient, of course you should check ferritin level, it will be decreased. And you see here MCV reduced, and <coughs> now we see here microcytic anemia and also hypochromic anemia uh, reduced, uh, um, uh, reduced MCH uh, containing of hemoglobin level uh, of erythrocytes and uh, also reduce iron, uh, iron also reduce, uh, will increase total iron binding capacity and uh, uh, de uh, decrease ferritin and transferrin saturation. In smear of blood, you see hypochromia, anisocytosis, microcytosis, and polyclocytosis, different shape and different size of erythrocytes. Then you see microcytosis, hypochromia, and anisocytosis. It is different, it's a different uh, picture from the normal erythrocytes. Instrumental investigation like ECG and echocardiography, he was myocardial dystrophy, decreasing the amplitude of T wave in more pronounced cases, a smooth or even negative T wave in several uh, chest leads. It gives us information about ischemia. Uh, it uh, and ECG changes, echocardiography changes uh, uh, depends on severity of anemia and duration of anemia. Okay, and uh, uh, this uh, iron deficiency anemia uh, we should uh, uh, treat prolonged time. Uh, why? Because first we should maintain the uh, hemoglobin level, and uh, sec uh, uh, second our uh, goal is uh, mm, is uh, keep the storages, increase the storages of iron. It takes time. It sometimes takes uh, more than half a year, or maybe even it depends on severity, and sometimes maybe one or two, uh, two years duration. Um, increasing of uh, uh, amount of hemoglobin uh, uh, 
after starting treatment, it will be about one uh, gram per liter uh, during one week. And uh, you can co uh, you can co calculate if uh, your patient uh, has, uh, for example, three uh, gram per liter deficiency of hemoglobin. It uh, uh, for treatment it needs at least twenty gram uh, or uh, twenty weeks. Okay. Uh, let's discuss about B12 deficiency anemia. This is anemia uh, due to uh, a violation of DNA synthesis in red blood cells due to deficiency of vitamin B12 and characterized by a megaloblastic type of hematopoiesis. Normally, we have normal blastic type of hematopoiesis in bone marrow, uh, which changing B12 deficiency anemia into megaloblastic type. B12 deficiency anemia affects only 1% of population. It's less common than uh, iron deficiency. Deficiency of vitamin B12 in the blood is observed in 10% of people older than 70 years. And usually found in the elderly and senile, more often in men, and developed gradually. For developing, uh, uh, for um, absorption of vitamin B12, of course, we need intrinsic factor which produced by parietal cells, cells of our stom stomach. Uh, this intrinsic factor binds with vitamin 2, intaking vitamin 2, and prevent uh, uh, destroying of vitamin 2 and to, uh, uh, to uh, um, prevent destroying to uh, reaching absorbed area in small intestine. Without this uh, intrinsic factor, of course, this vitamin two uh, R twelve will uh, destroy it uh, by gastric um, um, juice and by other enzymes of duodenum. Recommended intake of vitamin B twelve uh, for elder um, and uh, for. Uh, adults is 2.4 microgram and to increase during pregnancy or increase during breastfeeding. Etiology, there are several etiologies. Uh, first group is the disruption of gastric secretion uh, of the internal factor or intens intrinsic factor gastromucoprotein. It may develop uh, during atrophic autoimmune gastritis uh, when, uh, when acute uh, formation of antibodies to parietal cells. Uh, next may be total gastrectomy or congenital violation of the secretion of gastromucoprotein or sometimes cancer of stomach can uh, cause um, decreasing of uh, synthesis of an intrinsic factor. Next is empiric absorption of vitamin B12 in the small intestine due to resection of the helium, uh, due to uh, mild absorption uh, because of uh, different kinds of disorders, uh, due to cancer, uh, due to chronic pancreatitis uh, with impaired trypsin secretion, and uh, um, may uh, also uh, violation of the absorption of vitamin B12, uh, which caused by uh, drugs. Competitive uh, um, consumption of vitamin B12, uh, when uh, in our uh, ileum and sacrum uh, presented uh, any invasions with a white uh, ribbon or uh, with one, any kinds of parasites, or uh, may sometimes operations on the small intestine with the formation of uh, blind loops. Uh, on the next place is increasing vitamin B12 consumption during multiple, uh, multiple pregnancy, chronic hemolytic anemias, or uh, thyrotoxicosis. Uh, on the next place is um, reason as a violation of uh, intake of vitamin B12 with food. Mm. Uh, in veganism, for example, and reduction of vitamin B12 storages in severe cirrhosis of the liver. You know, liver contains storages uh, which can cover storages of vitamin B12, which can cover uh, the uh, uh, three years demand of uh, uh, men. Uh, but uh, in liver cirrhosis, of course, there is no storage. Violation of transport of vitamin B12 is rare. Uh, reason, but it takes place absence of transcobalamin second or the appearance of antibodies to it. And uh, to understand the clinical picture, of course, you should know uh, two reactions of vitamin B12. Uh, these uh, two main reactions. First reaction, 
uh, uh, vitamin B12, you need to conviction of methyl melanil to succinyl melanil. And methyl melanil, um, methyl melanil is produced during the degradation of fatty acids with odd numbers of carbon, uh, carbon uh, atoms. When vitamin B12 deficient, uh, abnormal fatty acids accumulate accumulates and become uh, incorporated to cell membranes including those of nervous system and leads to neurological manifestations and also second reaction also very important uh, when uh, 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 vitamin b12 uh, cause convection uh, helps convection of homocysteine into the methionine when vitamin b12 is a deficient Homocysteine accumulate is a very poisoning product, accumulates leading to neuro neurological manifestations. And also, uh, tetrahydrofolate uh, will not be available for formation of pure, uh, purine and timidine phosphate, uh, leading to megaloblastic anemia. Unia, timidine phosphate, and purine, they are uh, very needful to synthesis of DNA. If no synthesis DNA, that means a decreased synthesis of DNA, uh, means decreasing um, cell division and uh, cause megaloblastic anemia. That's why we have clinical picture. Clinical picture from digestive system because decrease the um, cell division uh, in uh, uh, not only uh, bone marrow uh, cell division of uh, bo uh, blood cells, also decrease division of JT system cells. And all we have digestive system damaging as uh, damaging of uh, hematopoietic system, and also we have damaging of. Uh, neurological system. Digestive system damaging appear by decreasing or lack of appetite, feeling of heaviness and fullness in the epigastric region after eating, belching by eating food and air, pain and burning in the tongue, in the gums, lips, sometimes in the rectum, smooth um, liquid uh, um, tongue, the mucous membrane of the oral cavity is pale, phenomena of stomatitis may be not. All these symptoms uh, represent uh, of uh, uh, atrophic gastritis and um, uh, atrophic uh, uh, GIT and sometimes may uh, enlarge the liver and spleen uh, because um, uh, here we have a formation of big size erythrocytes, big size erythrocytes, they quickly destroy going through the uh, small uh, vessels and cause, um, and they are destroying in spleen and liver, of course, uh, we have a mild enlarging of liver and spleen. Next is anemic syndrome. Anemic syndrome uh, represented by general weakness, palpitation, dizziness, nausea, nears, fainting, and uh, during examination of skin, you see skin pale, skin is pale, often with a uh, icteric hue. Why icteric hue? Because of all the destruction of uh, this uh, large erythrocytes, which cause hyperbilirubinemia. And myocardial dystrophy syndrome sometimes develop as tachycardia, as extrasystolic any kinds of arrhythmias, or uh, sociostolic murmur in the apex, or uh, puffiness of the face. Uh, if uh, we have uh, uh, developing of uh, dystrophy of myocardium, uh, uh, it's appear by uh, low uh, extremities edema. <coughs> Damaging of nervous system, uh, this is funicular myelosis, uh, which is represented by weak legs, crawling, sensation, numbness of legs, sensory ataxia, and difficulty walking, tendon reflexes are reduced, atrophy of muscles of the lower extremities, urinary incontinence, uh, fecal incontinence, lower spastic uh, parasites, uh, paraparesis with sharp increase in tendon reflexes and muscle tone of the lower extremities, and dysfunction of the pelvic organs is characterized by delayed urination and defecation. Uh, rare symptoms like uh, disturbance in smell, hearing, function of upper limbs, as well as mental disorders like delirium, hallucinations, or psychosis, or depression. Hemogram <coughs> gives us a development of uh, hyperchronic macrocytic anemia can sometimes be normal chronic rare. 
large red blood cells, macrocytes, and hemicytosis and proteocytosis are here, and uh, remnant of the nucleus are found, uh, like uh, jolly bodies or uh, cabot rings uh, in uh, erythrocytes, basophilic punctation possible, and also uh, with the um, erythro, uh, oh, sorry, with the decreasing of RPCs also will decrease leukocytes level, also decrease hallucinophils, also decrease uh, um, platelets level. Why? Because um, deficiency of DNA formation also uh, decrease division, not only RBCs, also decrease division of leukocytes, uh, and de decreased division of uh, mycocardiocytes or these uh, um, pre cells of uh, platelets. The appearance of large segmented neutrophils with a poorly segmented uh, nucleus, hyper segmented neutrophils. And you see here uh, blood uh, smear uh, um, with comparable uh, 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 with normal analysis, uh, normal smear. You see a hyper. Uh, hyperchromia and uh, uh, macrocytes uh, sizes more than 8 uh, and uh, more than 12 sometimes maybe, uh, maybe uh, and also hypersegmented neutrophils. Myelogram give us irritation of the red hematopoietic germ and also appearance of hematoblastic type of hematopoiesis. Normal blastic type change into the hematoblastic type. Blood chemistry give us unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia because of over destruction of erythrocytes and possible increase in uh, uh, lactic dehydrogenases and increased serum iron. Uh, determination of vitamin B12 in blood give us uh, less B12, less than 150 picogram per milliliter, and instrumental investigation uh, of uh, GIT system. Uh, as a fagal gastric diadenoscopia uh, give us atrophic gastritis, uh, atrophic duodenitis, atrophic esophagitis, and uh, mucosal biopsy uh, give us atrophic gastritis. Investigation of gastric secretion also give us uh, decreased uh, pepsin production and hypo, um, uh, hypo or uh, echoria, echoias. Uh, and also pH, pH meter give us hypo uh, acidic gastritis. Okay, let's discuss uh, uh, about folic acid. Both B12 and uh, folic acid, they are, have uh, uh, more similarities. Uh, let's discuss about folic acid synthesized by microorganism, not uh, synthesized by human. That's why we uh, get folic acid only uh, by food. Active form is tetrahydrofolate activation occurs in human cells. Active form of folic acid receives one carbon uh, fragment from fragment from donors such as serine, uh, glycine, and histidine transfers them to intermediate. Uh, this function is required in synthesis of purines and timidine phosphate, and purine and timidine phosphate are required for DNA synthesis. And this means uh, uh, essential for cell division as uh, B12, also folic acid, they take part, uh, takes pa uh, take part in DNA formation. And uh, in deficiency condition of folic acid, we have disturbances of cell division. Of course, uh, uh, the, uh, mostly this is cell division of uh, blood cells and cell division of GIT. And <clears throat> inadequate serum levels of folic acid caused by increasing demand during pregnancy, lactation, uh, caused by poor absorption or drugs of, for example, methotrexate inhibit activation of folic acid and folate uh, a free diet can cause, uh, for example, uh, mm, uh, can cause a deficiency within a few, even a few weeks. Effect of folic acid deficiency, formation of megaloblastic type of anemia. And it's important to evaluate the cause of megaloblastic anemia prior to treating uh, uh, therapy because also vitamin B12 deficiency uh, indirectly cause symptoms of this disorder. And deficiency of folic acid uh, leads to neural tube defects and only in fetus. Uh, blood analysis the same um, 
uh, blood testing with the uh, B12 uh, deficiency anemia. Uh, myelogram also give us same megaloblastic type of uh, hematopoiesis. But uh, in blood chemistry, we see less level of folic acid. Normally, it uh, should be between the 4.5 to 25 nanomole per liter. And you see here how B12 and how vitamin uh, or how folic acid takes part in DNA synthesis. They have uh, uh, also a common interaction. And uh, here is comparison of the manifestation of vitamin B12 and folic acid deficiency. You should know uh, folate deficiency shows similar clinical features and blood picture to that of vitamin B12 deficiency, except there is no neurological disturbances. Everything is uh, uh, similar, but there is no neurological disturbance. It must be distinguished by history and tests from vitamin B12 deficiency. As an attempt to treat vitamin B12 deficiency with folate can uh, precipitate neuroparties. Uh, of course, uh, each year anemia, we should uh, treat prolonged time as uh, uh, iron deficiency anemia, B12 uh, deficiency anemia, and folic acid. They need uh, prolonged time treatment. Okay, I'm ending my uh, lecture. Thank you for your attention, my dears.